Open your mouth and thank him. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful year. Thank you because we are now in 2021. We thank you for life given to us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for life given to us. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blessing. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your protection. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. There is no one like you. There is no God like you. We thank you because you have did it again. You have done it again. Because you have done it again. You did it again. Thank you, Lord Thank Jesus. You Thank you for a wonderful much. year. We know that this year is our year. Thank you for a year of success. A year of breakthrough. A year of success. A year of blessing. A year of open door. A year of fulfillment. A year of open door. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful year. Thank you for we know whatever we are looking for, we believe in our heart that you will give us even more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him as you never thank him before. Thank him as you never thank him before. Because this year is your year. This year is the year you are waiting for. This year is a year of blessing. This year is a year of success. This year is a year of breakthrough. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him, Lord. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. This is the year we are waiting for. Thank him. Thank him, Lord. Thank him. 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 Thank you for loving Thank him. Thank him. Thank you for loving Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. In Jesus' name we pray. Begin to disconnect yourself from failure. Disconnect yourself from the enemy of your soul. Disconnect yourself from the enemy of your soul. Father, I disconnect myself from Lucifer, from the enemy of my soul. The one that kills, steal, and destroy. I disconnect myself from worshiping him, both direct or indirect. I disconnect myself. Disconnect yourself from the enemy of your soul. The one that says you must worship him, whether direct or indirect, that you must worship him. Disconnect yourself from the enemy. The enemy of your soul, the Lucifer himself, disconnect yourself, disconnect yourself, disconnect your family from idol worshippers. Disconnect yourself from idol worshippers. Say no to idol worshippers. I refuse to worship the enemy of my soul. I refuse 
to worship the enemy of my soul. This year, I refuse to worship the enemy of my soul. In Jesus' name, we pray. Rejoice. In Jesus' name. You may sit down. Who know Jesus? That is the question. Jesus is asking us now. He says, Who know me? On your malum. Who know me? Do you know him? Ask your neighbor whether you know Jesus. Yeah? What is your response? Who know me? That means, on your mom. Who know me? I know my God. I know my God. I know my God. My God knows me. I know my God. I know my God. I know my God. My God knows me. I know my God. I know. My God, I know my God, my God knows me. I know my God, I know my God, I know. Jesus name. Do you know you are God? Sit down. Do you know you God you worship? Huh? Or do you know the, the gods of your fathers? I believe that one you know better. Am I right? Huh? Uh, the one I'm talking about 
Jesus Christ is one that very difficult for you to know or to understand. But the, the, your original God, your forefathers God, is easy for you to know. Uh, but this one is confusing you. You don't know this one. You are still watching to see whether you will see him one day uh, to know him. Uh, you don't need to know him by seeing him. We know him by our faith and belief. Am I right? Uh, huh? you know him by faith and belief. Or you know him by what he do. You know him. <clears throat> it's very difficult for you to know this one. And it's very difficult for you to believe this God we are talking about. You never believe this God. Tell your neighbor, you never believe this God. Uh, uh, you never believe this God. You are in the church because your father and your mother, your parents, they give birth to you in the church. So you are now in the church. Uh, you are not in the church because you know church or you know why you are in the church. No. You are not in the church because you know why you are in the church. You are in the church because they carry you to the church. The church now become part of you. So every Sunday morning you know you must go to church. You are in the church. Not that you know church. Not that you believe the God in the church. Not that you know anything about God in the church. But you started going to church because your, your, your parents, they give birth to you. They give birth to you in the church. And they say, we have been worshipping church. We were dead in the church. And you, you see what the church do. They do burial where they do this one, they do this one, they wed you. So that is why you are here. Uh, but to believe in that God that they worship in the church, you don't know anything about that God. Uh, to reason with that God, you don't know. The prayer you pray, you just they just taught you how to pray. They say this is the way to pray to that God. But you never believe with your heart. You know, there is belief. And there is belief with heart. Uh, the belief you believe before, the belief you believe now, is the belief that your parents, they carry you to the church. But to believe with your heart that Jesus is alive, you never believe that one. There is two belief. That is what I was discussing with God. He said the Israelite, when the, the coming of Jesus Christ, when Jesus came, when the job the Baptist came, he, he started telling them about repentance. Uh, because the prophet of the old, they prophesied about repentance, about this, about John. So they are waiting for that day. For that remission of sin. And when John came, he baptized them. They went for the baptism. And John was busy telling them about Jesus Christ. The one, I, I, I baptize you for you to believe the one that will come. You believe in Jesus Christ so that you will be saved. But when they saw Christ himself, they never believed that he is the one. How can we believe this man? You see the difference? The belief, the part one of it, the belief, John message. Not all. Some of them they believe John message. But when they saw the one John was talking about, they never believe him. The same thing with you. You believe the I see Jesus. But when you see me, you never believe me. Am I right? Huh? Huh? You believe the I see God in the church, who, but you never believe the one Jesus sent. So you don't believe. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you also believe the one Jesus do all. 
sent. Because Jesus cannot come and start talking to you. He must send a messenger. That is what Romans 10 say. Who believe? Who can preach without being sent? Our belief has part one, part two. It's when you now believe the two. <laughs> Love for Jesus. So let's go to out of the apostle, you'll see what happened. Out of the apostle 19. From verse 1. Let's start from verse 1 to 7 so that you will understand what I'm saying. Uh -huh. And it happened while Apollos was at Corinth that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus and finding some disciples. He said to them, Did Some you disciples, that means you are, like, you, are, you, are like, you are now the disciples. Some disciples, the people that have follow Jesus, mm. the people that believe in Christ Jesus, uh, they believe the repentance of John, but the Jesus himself they never believe. Uh -huh. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they said to him, We have not so much head as head where there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, into what then were you baptized? So they said, into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that he is, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Now the men were about 12 in all. Do you see that? You must believe. You believe Christ Jesus is your Lord and your God and personal Savior. You will not receive that Holy Spirit. You know, if you say, I'm a born again, I repent without Holy Spirit, you will not last in the race. Because there will be no helper around you. You believe in Christ Jesus. That is why you are here, right? Eh? But you have not believed the one God sent. Then who will now lay hand on you? Who will now give you the Holy Spirit? So that your belief can stand test of time. You know, when you say you believe, I repent. But your belief cannot stand challenge. You did not believe. Right or wrong? Eh? How, how will God know that you believe him? Challenges will prove that you believe God. It's challenges that will prove, you will prove that you believe God. The same way, exam proved that this person is in the class. When the exam comes, when you pass the exam, you will not know that ah, you are a student. Am I right? When you did not pass the exam, you are not a student. Am I right? The same way, if you believe in Christ Jesus and the re repentance is for you truly, you believe the truly that, ah, I'm a born again. I'm a child of God. I follow Jesus. Test will come that will prove whether you are a child of God or not. And without you believing in the one God sent, you will not receive Holy Spirit that will stand for you the day of test that will say, don't do this. I don't know whether I understand me. Because people will gather and say, ah, this is what you will do. This is the way. Your mother, your father, your everybody will say, this is the way. Follow this way. The town, the village, they will say, this is the way. You will now look around. Nobody stand for you. It's Holy Spirit that will stand for you and say, don't mind them. Follow this way. The whole time, everybody say, follow this way. The Holy Spirit, which they will not see, they can't see, will be by your side and say, don't mind them, follow this way. And make your heart very strong. If not, 
If not, you will not stand test of time. That is how God know that we believe him. But if you repent and you a believer and the test have not come, ah, you have not yet believed. It's when you believe that is when Satan begin to run after you. Anything you say you are for Jesus, ah, Satan will come after you. Satan does not want to hear the name Jesus. Mm. Anything Jesus, and you know that ah, this Jesus is begin to enter you. Ah, you have pro begin to have problem with enemy with Satan. He begin to fight you. He begin to gather people against you. Mm. But if a Christian and you don't have no attack, no, there will be no promotion. You see the Bible say, unto what did you, did they baptize you? They say, unto John's baptism. He was busy telling them, somebody will come. It's like tank cryer. This will come. You never see the Igwe. Am I right? Eh? The one that announced that Igwe will talk. You never see the Igwe. You believe that one, but you never believe this is the Igwe. This is the king. You are waiting for, you are looking for. I want to see the king. Uh, they never, they don't, know, they don't know anything about Holy Spirit. And if you are worshiping God outside Holy Spirit, you are worshiping God, you do not know. I don't know, where, that is why I asked you that question. Who know God? Did you know him? I know God when the Holy Spirit is with me. That is the only thing that can stand for me. It's Holy Spirit that can stand for you. When people gather, it's Holy Spirit that will say, no, don't give up, continue. Mm, don't deny me. That is why God said, don't deny me. There is some question, if you are truly a believer, that you don't need to ask. Uh, you don't need to ask. Somebody was asking me. Somebody want to do traditional thing. And he was telling him that he should bring money, don't have money. He should bring money so that he will not do traditional thing. He want to enter one land. Yes, when they do not traditional thing, he will enter the land. And the person that wants to do that traditional thing does not have money. And I came to our one of us. Help me with money so that I enter. He was busy asking me because his heart, he wants to give out. Mm. So if you're a Christian, you don't need to ask that kind of question. You know what to do already. Am I right? Huh? Huh? Uh, you don't want to do. You don't need to ask whether you should help them uh, uh, promote tradition. You know what to do. You know that this is against you, against your faith. It's like come somebody carry masquerade to your house, and you are asking whether you should give the masquerade because it's your brother. Whether I should give the masquerade money, whether I should give the masquerade food, whether I should give the masquerade drink. Huh? You need to tell your brother, go and remove the masquerade and come back. Am I right? Eh? Eh, you don't need to ask whether I should help masquerade. Eh? The masquerade, they are just, it's what we used to have fun. We are not uh, harmful. Eh, we are just, we are not using, even using charm. It's just, just masquerade. Eh? Eh? Are you promoting them? Or helping them. They are destroying you, you're supposed to also destroy them. Am I not? They are running you down, you need to do what? Run them down. If you go to village now, people are turning to uh, traditional, traditionalists now more than church. People have stopped going to church. Eh? All the tradition, they are, they are returning back with full force, like water. And they are all young people. They believe that because they remove the offer, 
they remove uh, all the charm in the compound, all the chi, all the gods in the family. That's why they are not doing well. And people are asking them, your father did not wo- your forefather did not worship this Jesus. He's a foreign god. Mm. But you know the truth that that your chi in your father's house did not create heaven and earth or anything. Am I right? Yeah? It's man made God. It did not create anything. It's man made God. But you believe them, and you never want to fight for this Jesus at all for one day. And you want Jesus to fight for you. You need to take your stand and say, I stand here. I'm not there. So that him, Jesus, will do what? He will do what? He will fight for you. You will not be by the side of enemy and expect Jesus to fight battle for you. You need to stand your ground to fight. Even if they will hate you, let them hate you. Even if they will reject you, let them reject you. Even if they will abandon you, let them abandon you. The apostles, they, they rejoice because they frog them because of Jesus. They rejoice, they beat them well, well because of Jesus. Am I right? Eh? And they rejoice in their death because of Jesus. But you, you never fight one day for Jesus. You never allow people to talk about you because of Jesus. And you say you are Jesus' worshiper. You are not true worshiper. Uh, You have not started worshiping God. People need to reject you because of him. So that when you now go inside, you will praise him. You will worship him and thank him and confess the same thing Apostle Paul confessed. They flog me because I worship God. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me this privilege. It's God that gives you privilege. If, because if God did not call you, they will not flog you. Huh? Huh? It's a privilege. Huh? Huh? Is it not? Uh, they beat you because of him. That means there is no way. You will not enter the kingdom of God. But we are afraid of these people. Uh, we are afraid of them. They have dominated us. They come in the, in the, in the village uh, land. They now put idol there. Am I right? Eh? A village, every village idol. And when church want to build, they will go and buy land. If we are a village, you know. Huh? 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 If we are a Huh? When you want to build church, you go and buy. Even Catholic church, they buy. Huh? Are they not buying? Huh? Even Catholic church, they buy. If Catholic church and I'm buy, who else will not buy? If Catholic Church now buy land, who will not buy land? Everybody must buy now. Huh? Uh, but these people, they have land. The village land, village land. They will not go there. They will plant their God there. And nobody can contest. So, and you are here saying the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Uh-huh. Uh, you never fight for God one day. Am I right? That's your neighbor. Have you ever fight for God before? Huh? 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 So Jesus said, we never believe him. Mm. We believe that there is Jesus somewhere. But we don't believe that Jesus is in the pastor or is in the reverend. Am I right? You worship God without anybody. 
Mm. You believe that there is Jesus, but he's not in this person. He's a man. I know him. That is why when they say, God said this, you now begin to weigh the, weigh the where You begin to weigh it and say, huh? Whether in the spirit, whether the man is in the spirit when he says it. And you are not spirit man. And you know when the person is in spirit and when the person is not in the spirit. <laughs> am, I, am I right? Because you, you believe with your eyes. If the person now is doing like the Holy Ghost, you know, say it's in spirit. You see this more like man. Am I right? Am I right? Eh? It's in spirit. The spirit is carrying him. Mm. But if the person is talking, I say it's not in the spirit. It's not uh, God, God that is talking. It's him. If you're a child of God and uh, Jesus take you, adopt you as his son or daughter. And one minute, you are, you are not with Jesus. Satan will kill you immediately. I don't know. Eh? Eh, you, eh, Satan will kill you immediately. You must be at Allah all the time. God comes and talks to you. Mm. God comes and talks to you all the time. He's around you 24-7. He's everywhere you go. Even when you are not around. Something happened in my village. You know, people, church people, they came to my village. Some people, they stayed there. And they, I enjoyed them coming. And one person want to enter, he was say, I want to go and clean the room. I was not there in this, in this in, and he slept. She slept. And when, when she now saw herself in the realm of the spirit, he entered the room. And what is helping me was pursuing her. She said, don't clean the, don't, don't touch his clothes, too. it's our clothes. So I want to touch, he said, no. I want to go and wash the toilet. The person was pursuing him. So go. He said, you see that bean inside the room? The bean was busy pursuing the person. And tomorrow, the thing repeated. He said, I want to go and clean the room again. He now slept. He now want to enter. She now want to enter again in the dream. He still see the same thing. I said, go out. Go out. And he now begin to tell me, ah. She now begin to tell me, I don't know whether the demon in my father's house follow me. I say, it's not demon. If that thing is demon, you will feel the presence of demon. It's Holy Spirit. Because you are not converted. So you are not for me yet. Yes, you are for yourself. Mm, you are not for me. So anything that belongs to me, if you come, they will not give you. It's like you have a wife that protects his husband thing. And the husband is not around. You say you want to take husband khaki. Will the wife give you? Eh? Lagi lagi. Unless you are so much close to the husband and the wife. Very, very close to the wife. Am I right? Before the, husband, before the wife can now say, I take the key. Where are you going with the key? Say, I'm going to somewhere. Where are my husband? Your husband sent me. Unagi. But if not, the wife cannot give you the key. The same thing with the Holy Spirit. Say, God open your eyes to see. Uh, he open your eyes to see that you are not yet for me. They still see you against me. If it's when Holy Spirit accepts you, it's when you are accepted. Uh, you can be my friend, but not accepted by the Holy Spirit. Because there must be a test that will come before you, that will prove whether you are for me or against me. If you, are, if you are for me, you will stand. The Holy Spirit will be for you. What is using me will start using you. But if you are not for me, you will now become against me. For you to be a child of God, it's not a family thing. It's an individual thing. It's not by family. My family accepted you, no. Your family cannot accept Holy Spirit. It's individually. It's you that will accept Holy Spirit. And the other, your brother may not accept. Your mother may not accept. But you, 
And when you accept Holy Spirit, accept God, and your family, they did not accept God, there will be fight. Because anywhere evil spirit is, and the Holy Spirit, anywhere Holy Spirit is, evil spirit must come there, and they must fight. They continue fighting. And if you stand by Holy Spirit, you will overcome. That is why Jesus said, I have overcome the world. He has overcome the world. It's individual. Jesus has not overcome the world for you to do anyhow and overcome. No. He has overcome the world. He eh? has given you the power to defeat the enemy. But you need to believe in him for you to take that key to defeat the enemy. For you to take that power to defeat the enemy. But without you taking that power from Jesus, you cannot overcome the world. Um, your brother may overcome, your sister may overcome because they believe. But you, because you did not believe, you cannot overcome. But Jesus, I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. Behold, everything is well now. Mm, everything is solved now. But individually, your belief is not a family thing. If you are worshipping God with family, you are a religious person. You worship God, you do not know. You must come out from your family to worship him. Because the soup God may cook for you is not the soup God wants to give to your family because of their belief. If truly the, that Paul, Peter said that, Jesus was teaching them about heaven. How a rich man, it will be very difficult for them to enter heaven. And, and Peter began to ask Jesus, what of them that they leave their mother, they leave their family, and they follow him? Do you see that? They leave their family, they leave their wife, and they follow him. That, well, eh? What stopped Peter from carrying the wife, carrying the children? Am I right? Do you understand me? I leave my family and I follow. So you must leave your family to follow Jesus. Your son must leave you to follow God. This is how we worship Jesus. So when you say you are Jesus worshiper, it's too early for you to confess that. Uh, when you are confessing that Jesus, I will not leave you. <laughs> You're only tempting Satan to tempt you. You are saying where that will attract Satan to come. Before you confess that, just know that nothing can separate you. The same thing Paul said. What can separate me from love of God? He said nothing. Can death, can barrenness, can failure, can disappointment, can separation, can this. It's when you now look at your life and know that there is nothing that can separate you from the love of God. That is when you, now, you can now confess it out. If not, if you confess it, Satan knows your weak point. Satan knows that your, your marriage is more important to you than God. Satan knows that your husband is more important to you. Your wife is more important to you. Your children is more important to you. He will not go there. And God will allow Satan to do his work. He will allow him. Because we are running the race of belief. He will allow him. The race of faith, he will allow him. Once you talk of faith, heaven, he will do what? He will allow him. What can separate me from the love of God? He said, nothing. Satan said, eh? He said, nothing. Eh? And you have only one boy in your house. And you love him so much. And you are now 50, 60. You cannot give birth again. Let us go to this boy and see what this woman will do. Immediately they touch the boy and I begin to say, God, if anything happened to this child, <laughs> clap for Jesus. <laughs> if anything happened to this child, <laughs> all this uh, in my house, all this uh, prophet Chukwu, the Oye, and the rest of them, Oye, water, sand, stone, Bible, I will just go and give him back his thing. Uh, 
That means that thing can separate you from God. It's now you are God. That is school of Holy Spirit. School of Holy Spirit is test. Oh. Satan will test you. God will allow that to happen. And Satan will not go where you will defeat him. He will go where you are very weak. That is where Satan will go. But if you believe, you truly believe, Holy Spirit will be there for you to help you to say continue. Nothing, if you're a true Christian, nothing can do what can separate you. Nothing can separate you. Your father's there. Can your father's there separate you? Eh? Can your mother's there separate you? Even if you don't believe, they will still die. Eh? There's no way your father will live forever. Eh? Even if you did not believe, your mother will still die. Eh? Why can't you fight for your faith? And stand right. Clap for Jesus. They say 2020 is our year. It's our year. Our year of uh, blessing. Our year of this. Our year. Just know that it's a year of belief. If you believe, and God told me this morning, say, if you believe, you will see. Tell your neighbor, if you believe, you will see. Uh, if I believe, I will do what? I will see. Eh? If I believe, I will do what? I will see. Let's go to Matthew 17. That's where we are going to close. God said you should believe. Eh? God said they should believe Jesus. Believe him. Seventeen from verse one to six. See how Jesus took them to the mountain. Huh? He carried them to the mountain for them to hear their father, the one they Moses worship, Abraham worship. For them to know that is the same person that sent him. Mm. Uh huh. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, led them up on a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. Moses and who? Elijah. The one they believe. Am I right? The one they will not say, ah, this is God. Uh -huh. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is, a good, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make here three tabernacles. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out from the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and were, and were greatly afraid. You see, the problem we have now is to believe the one God sent. We don't know the one God sent. The one God did not send. That is the one people believe. Because your contribution is there. And if, if your contribution is not there, you, you will not believe. Am I right? Eh? Eh? Are you here? Uh, the one God sent, you never believe that one. The one God did not send is the one you believe. Mm. If your contribution is there, you do what? You believe because you are suggesting. And whatever you suggest, you see them, you see the man of God using it. Anywhere you are, you will be, you will be happy. At least we are the one helping him. Uh, without him, he cannot do the work alone. You know, the work of God is all about people. Uh, it's like a family. We also suggest. 
Uh, and we see him doing the job. He's a, he's a man of God. He's doing the right job. Man of God, right on. Continue. Uh, uh. So, because you suggest, it's now sent by God. Am I right? Uh? And you can pull it down. You can destroy it because you are part of the, the committee. Am I right? Uh, if, if the man is now doing what you like again, you pull him down. Uh, you know, in the, our family church, if the reverend is not doing what they like, they will not write petition and change him. Am I right? Eh? That is why God says, uh, I'm tired of that nonsense. Eh? And that make a way for us. You know you cannot change me. Instead, you leave the church. Eh? Eh? You did not clap well. <laughs> When you now talk, 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 the reverend will now begin to, he want to talk now, he now begin to take your advice. How do you want me to preach? What do you want me to say? You will not tell him, don't go this way. This is, way, this is what we want you to be saying now. The reverend will now concur, begin to say those things. But if the man is a stubborn man and say, no, I must follow God's way, ah, they will take the man out of that place. That's nonsense. And God, look at you people. Look at you people. How devilish. How wicked. You don't want to hear my voice again, but the voice of you. You know, when you give me something to give you back, that thing cannot change you. Am I right? Because you are the one that, that give me. He said, give us back what? <laughs> that thing we told you last night. Share it back to us. And you will say, right, right on. Man of God. Right on. And you know that it's not from God. Instead of you to call the man, man of Peter, because your name is Peter, and I call man of Peter, and I call man of God. And you are the Peter that gave the man the way to speak. Well, that is why they say, ah, God now look at you people and say, ah, I know what to do. Uh, I don't need to. I don't need my people again to join. All of them to join these people. I need to separate my people. If you want to know the truth, you look for a man that know God. That is why you are here. You can't change me. Who are you going to write petition to? Huh? Eh? Eh? Nobody. Uh, so that is why God. Now the one that you believe that I respect. God has chased all of them out of the church. Am I right? So you now, you, you now have a problem with me now. You know that you cannot go talk to anybody. If you talk to this one, I say, ah, no go go. Ah, me, go there. Ah. Eh? Am I right? Eh? So you cannot come. Mm. You need to hear God. God does not need to hear you. You need to know this is what God wants me to do. You will do it. Mm. This is where God wants me to follow. You will follow it. Mm. And if God wants you to con contribute, Holy Spirit will come and speak to you. You will say it, and the man of God there will know that ah, this is from us. He will do it. This is the way. Mm. But not to say that ah, you have wisdom, you, you know what to do. You don't know the way. If you know the way, you will not come here. What are you doing here? Am I right? You don't know the way. You are here for you to know the way. You don't know the way. So God said, you believe the one he sent, so that he will do what? He will show you the way. Love for Jesus. Oh, yeah, Sandor.